All right, here we go. Hey, Americ, <clears throat> I'm making a game. That game is called The Guide Killer. And today, I have a new way of telling people uh, what my game is. Well, I'll say soon it'll be available. But I'll give you a little preview of it. It's my, uh, my, my Steam store for The God Killer, or The God Killer Chapter 1, or you could say GK1. Meaning, yes, I am so arrogant that I think I'll make more than one of these games. Um, let me demo a preview of the Steam store. I've got all the assets in it. I've got all the images. I've got all the text. It's all there. Um, it's just been sent off for review just this morning. So let's give you a sneak peek of what it should look like. <clears throat> I'm viewing the store in beta mode. You could try copying this URL at the top and paste it in, but it's probably not going to work for you. Um, all right. So, The God Killer, Chapter 1. There's this nice artwork. I'll show you how I made that artwork. Um, I cheated a little bit, but I think the result was decent and help me get through the insanity of creating about 20 different versions of the same artwork for all the different cases that uh, um, it's supposed to appear in for the Steam client and the Steam store and all that. All right, a puzzle-based adventure where you play a character that finds yourself pit against God, explore a handcrafted world of clever grid-based puzzles that require logical thinking to solve. Not too bad, I think that's pretty tight. Um, okay, then we got our screenshots here. Let's go ahead and show them full screen or larger. Uh, this is from the, the beginning of the game. You know, I'm trying to show that there's a adventure or dialogue element to this whole thing. There's characters in it, so I've got M's face there. Um, this screenshot was a tiny bit hard to capture because I had to press the key right when the guy's moving and in this game people don't move all the time they come to a resting state um, you know a half second after you issue a command so this one I just wanted to show okay things move around there's action okay um, this one was just more about I wanted to show um, there's more than one type of creature in the game that you'll see so this yellow guy here at the Groldy and uh, a level. One of the ones that I, I think looks nicer. Deep Pit. Showing the scale of things. Uh, showing off um, the mechanic of flinging, or at least hinting at it. You can't really get flinging from this screenshot, but you can understand that, okay, there's something where maybe you send out these little scan lines off in different directions. What is that? You know. Um, I'm trying to break the feel that this is a typical block pushing game with these screenshots. So I did not go heavy on showing lots of blocks. Uh, I wanted to play up the three dimensional aspect too. It's not just a, a 2D game set in a, a 3D cosmetic environment. It's actual three dimensions that are used while playing the game. So you can see down below there's different floors and places you're supposed to be able to traverse. Um, yeah. Okay, and this one was good for, um, it's just a pretty looking level. It's got different colors than a lot of the other levels too. And it gives a sense of scale too, like, whoa, all that stuff goes way down there. You know, so there's a few moments in the game where it gets a little grandiose in, in the spaces that it uses. And I think that's a cool thing to show off. And then, uh, some interaction with another character, um, underscoring that there's there's an adventure here, there's a story. It's not just an abstract puzzle solving game. Okay, it's all that. And then you might say, well, wait a minute, isn't there gonna be like a, a trailer video or some kind of gameplay video? Usually there is right at the beginning of this list. Yeah, definitely there will be. Um, and I've got some ambitious ideas about the trailer um, this store page may open up 
before April 1st, but I'm going to announce it on April 1st. And uh, if I have a option of waiting until April 1st to turn it on, that kind of makes a better announcement. I just put it in for a review. They might automatically turn the switch on in a couple of days and uh, have it say coming soon. But if I have the option to turn it on or off, I'm going to turn it on on April 1st because I will also have the trailer video done and the trailer is going to be fucking cool, man. It's going to be cool. <laughs> I'm not going to give it away. I think it's I think it's going to make people just a little bit excited. It'll, it'll show the production values that are going to go into the final game. Um, got all the tags here. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about right. It's kind of weird to see satire way up here. I may move satire down in the prioritization. Maybe I already did. All right, and then it, you know it simulates all the other stuff too uh, that you might see. That's typical of a active Steam page. Come down here, we've got. A longer description of the game. You arrive as M in a strange afterlife to be greeted by God himself. While God has great plans for M, she fails to follow them, swiftly collecting enemies. Okay, so I put that right at the beginning for a couple of reasons. One, if somebody is offended by the religious aspects of the game, I want them to see it right away. I want to be nice about that, you know? Everyone's get gets poked all the time. I, we're just all getting like poked by each other all the time. There's somebody that, you know, you should be upset about, or yeah, it's just there's too much of that shit going around. So, I really do want to be nice about that stuff. So I, I put that up front. But also, for somebody else, that's a hook. That's like, what you you gonna fight God? Like, most games that talk about, um, you know, a God that you're against. They'll say, uh, the gods. They'll go pantheistic, or they'll say, you know, fight somebody, the god of death, or the god of war, which also is a hint at pantheism. I'm saying, no, this is the creator of the universe. You're going to fight against the creator of the universe. And that may spark uh, some interest in, in certain people. Um, it would for me. Okay, then I get right into the gameplay in the second part. You will explore and solve intricate handcrafted puzzles by Eric Hermanson, creator of the Long Running Drawed series. Pause there. What kind of a dick am I to act like me being there as a selling point? So uh, maybe a humbler thing would have been cut out my name and say by the creator of the Long Running Drawed series. Do people know who I am? There are some people that know who I am. But there's not many, and it's kind of arrogant to throw in my name there like it's a draw. But I put on my not Eric hat. I put on my promotional hat, and I realized that if you put an actual name there, it, it doesn't matter if it's mine. It doesn't matter that not that many people know me. But if you put an actual name there, it makes someone say, oh, well, this is maybe somebody that's done some other things and maybe has some notoriety. And they can, they can go and Google, who the fuck is Eric Hermanson? And they'll get a whole bunch of stuff about the writer of the Rihanna song, Eric Tor Hermanson, who's not me. But the second, the second most popular uh, Eric Hermanson on the internet is me. And I've got all kinds of credits about different games I, I wrote in the past and stuff like that. And uh, again, it's not, it's not about me. It's about pitching that you're in good hands with this and there's maybe some reason to take note. Because uh, for someone who's very interested in puzzle games, um, knowing that there's a person who's had a history of creating puzzle games that's making another one is often worthwhile. So that's it, that's all. Okay, that was way too long of an explanation. You explore and solve intricate handcrafted puzzles by Eric Hermans and creator of the Long Range Rod series. The game moves at your speed, allowing you to prevail using your brain and not reflexes. To me, that's a huge selling point. Maybe to other people, it would be too. Um, many puzzles involve spelling words, but no knowledge of English is required to solve these or to win the game overall. Um, so I want to let people in that might go away when they see 
all the blocks with letters on them. Okay, the story is full of surreal situations and dark comedy. The characters are fully voiced with wonderful acting and even singing. Chapter one begins asking the question, what would it mean to fight against a powerful being that created you and the workings of the universe itself? Okay, so I have this problem in the title itself, God Killer. It sounds like to start with like a, a kind of brash and in your face. I had two reasons for putting the in front of God Killer. You put the in front of it. First reason is it distinguishes it from a series of graphic novels called God Killer. Okay. That was the first reason, because I wanted to be distinct from that other creative work, and I don't want to cause confusion with people that uh, might be into that other work. Uh, second reason, or legal problems too, I guess. Second reason is you write the in front of it, and it sounds like you're st taking a step back from it. There's something you're able to perceive. It's a little more literary. It's a little more intellectual, perhaps. Um, you put the in front of it, to me, in my mind, it... it it gives it a bit of a... Uh, it's something that you can step back from and observe as opposed to something that is like screaming in your face. Okay? And along those lines, this last paragraph is trying to tell you that it's not about brashness, it's not about, you know, shock value or... Uh, you know, visceral things, you know, oh, this is a hardcore game. No, no. I'm trying to characterize it correctly. Um, and even to that end, you'll see in the art, there's more of that type of thinking. And I'll show you more of the art, because they really made me make, uh, let, me, let me see if I can guess without exaggerating. I'd say about a dozen different versions of the same artwork. Maybe more like 10, but uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you what I had to do. Okay, so that's the Steam page. I did put some thought into it. Um, so let's see. So they've got all these different things you have to, you have to plug in. It's like these little pieces of art, and you say, what the hell can I even do with something that size? That's 100%. No, that's 50%. Okay, there's 100% there's size. Uh, and that's not even the smallest one you have to make. The smallest ones, I guess, the icons. Um, let me see what else. Uh, all right, most of these I think we'll preview. So we got the this background which is supposed to be low contrast that one's 1438 by 810 um, here I'll just instead of opening them all up inside of Photoshop I'll just I think I'll just preview them off to the right uh, let's see here's here's the smallest one that is 231 pixels by 87 um, I did some variations on this I dropped the chapter one at this size, it's just too small. Um, okay, so then you go up a little bit. There's capsule main, which I was showing you before. This one's 616 by 353. Quite a lot of room there, actually, compared to the other ones. Uh, and these, these all just show in different places in, in the store, the Steam client, the, uh, like the, the page that is for multiple products, not just yours. Um, the community pages, so this community group header, it's just a variation of the same thing. Community capsule, it's a variation of another one. Uh, some of these you might argue, couldn't you just reuse the same art that I gave you and just use the same dimensions? But there's, they are Steam, they are Valve, they get to have things done their way. Header, uh, that's that one's pretty small. I probably could have fit chapter one in there, but I didn't want to. This one is more of a vertical style. I kind of like these vertical ones. They, they remind me of like uh, artwork that could go on, 
a nice paperback or something, you know. Um, so yeah, there's this idea that nothing is in your face. It's a little bit of pondering going on. The stairs in the three dimensions gives you that sense of puzzle. Um, you know, the, the font down here makes a, with, with the white glow around it, makes it look a little mysterious. And again, a little bit, sounds pretentious, but you know, a little bit literary. You know, it's like, this is, the, the way I want the game to present it is, it's not like a guilty pleasure. It's not you on your couch with your Mountain Dew and Doritos and, uh, you know, your headset on and like swearing at your buddies. And it's not that kind of game. It's more like reading a good book. You know, it's like something you, you enjoy for its own sake, but it feels like at the end of it, you might be in a better place. You might take something away from it. It's not just a fun time. <laughs> I, it sounds so pretentious, but it should be thought of as time well spent. Uh, and I've definitely had that playing different games. I've had that, you know, with uh, Manifest Garden. Like, that was sacred time. I, I sh Talking about religion and stuff, I should be a little cautious about using that word. But that was time where I would say, okay, I don't want to be distracted. I want to feel like I got a, a fair amount of time in front of me that I can spend with this. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, turn off any extra music, extra screens. I'm going to give this game my full attention. Uh, I'm even going to wait for like the, the sun to go down so that um, the, the projector screen that I, I play the game on is going to have crisp colors and it's going to look nice. And then, and, you know, I would, I would just savor that game. And that's the type of experience that I would like to make for somebody that's playing this game. I want the marketing around it to preserve that feeling. Time well spent. Ponderings ahead. Okay. Um, and then there's a few more. There's like this variation here. And there's another one, vertical one, but di you know, different kind of thing. So at this point, you must be in pre bored of seeing all these different versions of the same artwork. And uh, how do you think I felt making it? Um, so let me show you how I made it. What I did is, uh, this is our old friend, the death box. I took one level that had some of the uh, simplicity that I wanted, but also just some nice geometric shapes. And that was the, the first level of the game in the egg. And what, what, what did I call this thing? I called it uh, Promo Art. Oh yeah, I made a copy of that scene. Okay, and I changed the camera to be isometric. So I figured I could take screenshots of the game and use that as the basis of the art, but it's not going to be able to show the anything about the game simply in the same way that these isometric pieces will. Because um, you don't have to understand too much about this when you look at it. So this is not artwork that's drawn. It's just a scene from the game with some lighting adjustments. Uh, the shader that I wrote is applying outlines to everything. And I actually uh, have a lot I would fix about it if I was going to spend more time. There are many things. So like the outline shader doesn't do a consistent job of drawing outlines over everything. Um, I've noticed like over here, for example, it's not showing a, a line around that edge there. Uh, there's some parts of it where uh, they, they're not quite as aesthetic or they don't make as much sense from an architectural perspective like these stairs kind of go up to nothing it doesn't look like they're continuing on anyplace else uh, there's some 
pieces that aren't really following a, a real nice composition. It just happens that they were put in a certain place. Um, but overall, I like it. And I was able to get like one large background, screenshot it, and use it as the basis of a number of different um, images at different sizes. And now that I've done it once, I think that is a good approach. You've got some piece of art that has a whole bunch of uh, things that are kind of interesting to look at, but not many things on it that have to be there for the art to work. And that allows you to spend a day instead of a week putting together this barrage of uh, artwork that is needed for a steam store um, so yeah I think that part I did right although it's really too early to say how effective this kind of art style is but to my eye it's it's pleasing and uh, it's also something different from the the game art but it's connected to it it does kind of give you the gist that you're going to be grappling with puzzles and three dimensions and there's different characters in the game and and also that it's not uh, a visceral game it's not about being tough it's not about you know being you know you know all those all those pictures that have got like the game's heroes in it and they're all bulked up in their gear and weaponry and everything like that to me that's i just yawn whenever i see that even like really good artwork that's done that way it just it just doesn't say anything to me that's interesting so I guess I'm, I'm making what I think would interest me and give the right message about what the game is supposed to be. So that's how I did my Steam art. And uh, I think I might make a wallpaper of this too. I think this is a nice kind of thing to use for, for wallpaper. Uh, and this is, a, this is a corruption of the actual level. There are no stairs like this in, in the level. I added all those in just to just to give it a better look. All right. So that's that. 12.59. It's a little late in the day. I think I'm going to go off stream to do the rest of my work. I've got a bunch of things that are, are not good stream activities to do. Uh, I've got a, a player build only bug to debug, which means making a build and shuttling it over to the other computer and trying it out there. I've got a contract to sign to somebody who's helping me with one aspect of the trailer. You know, stuff like that. So I'm going to be working on this all day, like I do most Sundays. But I'm going to stop the stream right here. So it's mainly been a demo stream. And uh, if anyone's hanging out, uh, thanks for joining. I'll catch you later. All right. Stopping the stream. Stopping the stream. Stop, stop, stopping the stream.